Hey guys and welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. Today's video is going to be all about these bad boys, towels. Towels are going to be something that you utilize as a surgical tech for various different reasons uh, during surgery and, and as you're setting up for surgery. Uh, I'm going to take you through layering up a back table and mayo stand for reinforcement with your towels. I'll take you through a variety of different uh, roll towels that we'll use for our instrumentation. I'll take you through a suture towel that I personally use and some other variations of suture towels that you might like to use for organization. And I'm also going to take you through just a couple different reasons you may use a towel depending on the case. Alright guys, I just want to preface this with, this is not a sterile setup, obviously. I don't have any gloves on, I'm not sterile, I'm not wearing a gown or anything like that. I'm touching this back table with my bare hands and I'm going to be doing this with my bare hands throughout the whole video. Okay, this video is, is just to be put in place to show you the techniques that you will need to learn. Alright, so first off, draping of the, uh, of the back table. Towel draping of the back table, usually I start with my working field first. So say in this case, if my working field is gonna be over here on the uh, far end of the table. I'm gonna start draping this way. And you'll basically overlap the towels and go the entire length of the table. If you have a really small case and you just wanna reinforce the instruments that you have, you're not really gonna utilize the entire back table. You can just set a towel long ways, bring your instrument tray over, and this is where your instrument tray is going to lay. You'll have your, your roll towel down here and all of your instruments will be reinforced by this towel. Uh, you know, these, these back table drapes can be a little thin and you know, sometimes we have sharp scissors and stuff like that. It can easily puncture this type of stuff. So it's important to reinforce your back table with something. Personally, I like to use a three quarter sheet over the whole back table. But if it's a nice small case, you can just use simple towels like this. Now the mayo stand, when you're looking at the mayo stand, it's got a detachable tray. And what we're gonna use, we're gonna utilize this tray by lifting it up and tucking our towels inside of it after we drape it, like this. The drape is on. We're gonna utilize our towels, again, going the length of the, of the mayo stand and tucking it in underneath that tray to secure it on one side. And then I usually like to take a second towel, cover the rest of the mayo, and I'll tuck it in on the far end. And now you have a nice reinforced mayo stand. So another use case I have for the mayo here is, you know, when you have all your instruments up, obviously you might have a lot more than this, but sometimes I'll throw a towel over everything and just toss my suction and my bovi. If you're doing a laparoscopic case, you can, you can toss like your camera and your light cord and your insufflation tubing and stuff like that over, over all of your instruments on top of this towel. And that's kind of a reminder that you need to throw all of this stuff off before you start the case. Uh, I especially like to do this for surgeons that aren't too keen on kind of helping you throw things off. It just makes the case go so much smoother and so much easier when you can organize all those things together rather than just a surgeon taking a, a knife and, and going straight into the incision right away. If they just take, you know, 15 seconds to help you throw things off and throw the cords off and organize them properly, the case just goes so much smoother. So I'll throw a towel over everything on my mayo I'll put everything that I need to throw off of the field on top of that towel. Once all of that is thrown off, I'll bring this towel right on top of the drape on top of the uh, patient and I'll use that kind of as my neutral passing zone uh, when I'm passing sharps or instruments back and forth from, uh, to and from the surgeon. So now we're going to be going over the roll towel and a couple variations of the rolled instrument towel that you may be you know, able to utilize. Um, First things first, let's, let's look at the towel, the way it's folded. Um, we're gonna utilize these folds already. We're gonna open it up 
and it's it's basically you know folded in half and we're gonna keep it that way lay it down on your table I like to kind of flatten it out a little bit I will angle the corners in just like that if it stays I will angle the corners in and then start my tight roll with a big with a big fold and then a half fold into it and then just kind of roll into the towel itself to make a roll towel. Now, this roll towel is really small because these are disposable towels. And we used to have launder towels. They're they're a little bit thicker and have more, you know, girth to it and they can actually hold up your instrument tray or your instrument stringer. So nowadays what I like to do is I either like to double up the towel with a second one and again you fold in the corners, do a big fold, do a half fold and then roll it and that gives you a nice big suture towel that's going to you know, hold your stringer of instruments up. You can use the little white towel that comes with your um, with your gown. You can open that up, and all you're basically doing is just trying to give a little bit more weight and a little bit more girth to your to your suture towel, so it can hold up your instrument stringer well. I personally like that one the best. We'll take our instruments out, and as you can see. That's a proper suture towel. It's, it's holding up the instruments really well. <clears throat> now say you have a smaller instrument stringer and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a couple variations of, of these roll towels where you'll utilize a smaller instrument stringer. So again, we will open up the towel half ways. Last time we folded it this length. We're just gonna turn it and we're going to fold it. I call this the three-quarter roll because it's kind of using three-quarters of the sheet instead of, uh, instead of, you know, a full half. You can kind of get away with just using one towel for this because you get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more towel in on the roll. If you have an even smaller stringer, what I like to do is, again, still use the folds and fold it in thirds. Go lengthways fold it in and make the suture towel. I'll be honest with you, I probably use this towel the most, especially when I'm putting like a roll towel up on my mayo stand because I don't really need a lot of instruments on my mayo stand, but I like to use a roll towel most of the time. So I just use this little kind of half roll and just get it done. All right, so the last kind of instrument towel that we're gonna make is the inchworm. And basically, you just fold this towel in and kind of fold it into itself to make kind of a little inchworm. And you can place your instruments in between these little walls and it'll hold the instruments up. I personally don't use this, but I know some people out there do, so I thought I'd include it in here. Okay, next up is your suture towel. Um, personally, I use suture towels on big cases when I have, you know, over 20 different types of sutures or, or just a lot of sutures that I'm gonna have on the table that I'm gonna need to utilize during a case. I'll usually make a suture towel. It's great for organization. And it starts with Obviously, your towel folded. Fold it out. You're gonna take this open flap and just fold it in. Flatten it out, and that's your suture towel. Then you can lift this flap up and place your sutures right underneath this flap. Or, if you have more sutures, you can open up the back flap and add sutures back here as well. I'll show you a little picture here. This is um, 
this is my setup uh, for a heart and these are how I organize you know all of the sutures that I utilize in a heart on my suture towel. Now if you had a smaller case and you still want to keep your sutures organized just fold it in half and you got yourself a nice little half suture towel that you could still place your sutures in. Now I know there's other ways that you can fold this towel and mismatch it and, and make, it, make it your own and that's fine. Once you get into the field, start folding towels up and figure out a way that you like to organize your stuff. But that's how I make my suture towel. Last segment I wanted to go over is the four towel drape, draping procedure. And pretty much across the board, any case that you're gonna be doing, you're gonna have towels as, as a buffer around the incision site. Um, it's, it's important for absorption of, of fluids, definitely, whether it be you know saline from irrigation or, or blood from the incision site. It's great at, uh, at absorption. So, for that reason, if you want to do a quick draping and you want to keep your towels folded like this, there's a quick way to unfold these towels and basically all you're doing is holding the, just below the corners of this towel and folding it out. You have a nice little cuff on the inside of the towel so it's doubled up so it's kind of an extra layer of, of absorption and you're going to fold your hands in and place them directly on the patient for draping or place them inside and hand it to the surgeon so they can drape onto the patient. Now when it comes to this inside cuff, it can, it can go either way, backwards or forwards, depending on, uh, on if the surgeon is going to be draping or if you are going to be draping yourself. Now I'm going to put down, I'm going to fold out four towels. Let's say the surgeon is going to be coming in soon and they're going to want to drape. So I'm doing three cuffs toward me and one cuff away from me. Those are folded up, those are ready to go. Now, when the surgeon comes in and they want to drape, you place your fingers in there, push out that first drape, and they're ready to take this first towel and start draping the patient. The surgeon will always start draping closest to them first, just in case their gown gets too close to the field, they're hitting a sterile towel instead of uh, non-sterile field. Then they'll come across either the top or the bottom and since we have our last cuff folded that way they'll be able to come right across the patient and place the towel just like that. Now when it comes to securing these these towels there's a few different ways that I've personally seen surgeons use. Uh, some surgeons will just use the piercing towel clip and they will pierce the corners of each of these towels. They're not piercing the patient's skin. They're just going straight through the towels themselves to keep them all in line so they don't move around uh, when, we, when we continue the draping and during the procedure. A second use case for keeping these, uh, these towels on the patient is the skin stapler. Uh, obviously this skin stapler is utilized to close incisions, but it's also utilized in the OR to keep these towels in place where they belong so they're not moving anywhere. This one does go into the skin. It doesn't make a really big uh, puncture wound or anything like that. They're usually not going to bleed from it, but it is utilized every now and then. A couple other uses that I've seen are Ioban. Uh, normally when, when doctors use an Ioban, they use you know, an entire Ioban to cover the entire uh, incision. But I have seen some that like to cut strips of Ioban and they just like to come right across the towel, just like that, to kind of keep it in place so it doesn't move around, similar to the, um, similar to the stapler but obviously this is a little less traumatic and what's also nice about this is that the uh, the drapes that go on top they have an adhesive on the drape and the adhesive sticks really really well to this IO band. 
Now, other surgeons will just use the IOBAN in, an, in its entirety and go across the entire incision, just like so. Cover the entire thing from towel to towel and make their incision, you know, right over the IOBAN. It's, IOBAN's basically just, just an added layer of protection on the skin. <clears throat> I think that is it. I hope you enjoyed this towel video and hopefully you gained a couple, couple new skills from it. I'm sure there's some more towel uses out there. I know, uh, I know there's people out there that know how to make like little garbage bags out of towels and stuff like that. I personally have never seen anybody do that. Uh, because you know we have so many disposable bags that come in our packs now but you know that's kind of an old school thing to do but there are people out there that know how to do that and I think it's pretty cool so if you have any other towel uses that you'd like on a future video or maybe just put it in the comments and we could talk about you know different towel uses that you might use out there in the field please let me know in the comments below thank you guys always for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye